Okay, as you can see, everything is done and looks good. And I have got to say that I am a little bit questionable about the one uh, with the, the lemon and uh, cilantro recipe that I told you guys I was borrowing from um, Miss Hart. Now, I could have, I don't know, done something different that I wasn't supposed to, but I followed exact. But this on top, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, open this jar so that you can see it. But everything else looks really good. It's the next day. I could actually see the grains of rice in there with that rosemary and turmeric. And uh, I could actually see the grains of rice in the ones that I just canned regular. And all of those are canned regular. And, and, and also know you have to get creative in a situation like this. I dare not throw that away. I would make me some little rice patty cakes or <laughs> something interesting. You know, I would season it and just have fun. So, and if you're in a situation where you're hungry, you're not going to care anyway. All right, I'm going to move these. These are some grapefruit. Go check out that video. My daughter took them out to have for breakfast this morning. I can't last uh, month on the first. All right. So let's let's take a look at this inside and see what it's looking like. And I'll go ahead and eat that one today. Or um, let's see. Ooh. Now, also, ooh, I wanted to say to you guys that what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take me a clean towel, washcloth, rag, whatever you want to call it with soapy water and I'm going to wipe all of my jars down all right before I put them up I'm taking off the rings and they're going to store just like this with no ring because this is sealed all right you don't need rings and the reason you don't want to use rings to uh, store your jars uh, especially to have them on tight like that one just was is because you can get what you call a false seal and it won't uh, or um, you could also have a situation where you're not allowing, um, if that should come, if this lid right here should come undone for some reason and reseal, you would be able to actually, um, see any, anything that may be growing in there, creating an environment for botulism or what have you. Um, yeah, you want it to be where if it should come loose that hey that's that's okay if it reseals it's still already got enough air in it that it could create um it would create a problem or could create a problem and it would go ahead and start growing some stuff to let us know hey i'm here don't eat me so all right <laughs> <laughs> okay so i'm gonna go ahead and get this jar open all right so Let's see, I'm going to have to, these, oh, you hear that? Woo! All right, that's what it should sound like when you open up something that you have canned. That lets you know that you had a good seal. <laughs> There's the lid, it popped off right here. Uh -huh. So, um, like a bottle trying pop. to pick it up. Pew! Sit right there. All right, so, uh, let's see here. Let me dig in, get this spoon. Yeah, I don't like that at all. It looks like the lemon made the starch rise or something. I don't know. But let me get it in a bowl. Okay, so I've got it all out of the jar into my bowl. And no, that is not my definition of rice. Again, don't throw this out. If you have small babies, this is perfect. If you want to turn uh, uh, just your regular rice, something that you hadn't put seasonings and spices in, into like a rice pudding, Go ahead and put some raisins in here, a little bit of cinnamon and milk, and let let that be, you know, for a little kid. Don't throw out anything, and I promise you won't be doing that anyway in a bad situation. So, um, all right, so this is the rice I've got canned. <clears throat> As I said, it will get used. So I just want to show you all what I decided to do when I said rice patties or rice cakes or whatever you want to call it. Um, just get your pan, put it in there, and fry it up. Of course, I'm not able to really handle this like I want because I'm using one hand. 
but this one flipped over nicely and I'm going to plate it up with some eggs for breakfast. All right, so there's my second one. I'm going to slide it right out of there. And I'm going to go ahead and make my egg. All right, y'all. So I have my rice caddy, uh, rice patty, patty <laughs> cakes. And I have eggs that I have put um, uh, smoked them. paprika and parsley on. And inside of my, my cakes here, I've put a little bit of onion powder. And um, you can add whatever seasonings you want to add. And that's... That way you, you know, can still make use of it. Again, don't throw stuff away. So I might need to just make this into a whole nother little video talking about how to savage a uh, canning gone bad. <laughs> this I'll put up and I may add some, you can add condensed milk or sugar and milk with raisins, nuts, like I said, and make it into like a little, a little rice pudding that you can eat. Uh, in the morning if you into rice. I'm not a big rice girl, but um, This is food that is being put away and 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 if you ever have to use it I hope that you're using it just like we are casually right now But if you have to use it for an emergency and you should come across a situation where Something just you know what the texture that you you plant on it being um, Yeah, you can go ahead and Go another route. So since my daughter is over here digging in this one, this would be hers. I'm going to just probably end up making it into some kind of cereal. All right. So that is it, you guys. We thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned something today. And um, we will see you guys on the next video. One love, y'all. Mm. One love. Mm. Ah. Rice. We can't regular rice. We can't lemon and cilantro, which is what I consider a fail. And I can't regular rice with putting turmeric in it to make it yellow with rosemary. All right? Well, I love y'all. Mm, this rice is so good. Peace and blessings.